how did we start building robots? Well, uh, about five years ago, I decided I wanted to start doing what I've learned about organic farming using uh, vegetables and whatnot, and I uh, wanted to do it out on broad acre fields. I wanted to have the biggest impact possible in getting chemicals out of food. I wanted to figure out how to do weed control out in large field settings. There's 250 million acres in the United States alone. You know, how do you get rid of weeds without tilling, right? Without disking, plowing, chiseling, without chemicals. You do what's called no-till farming. And there wasn't an answer out there. It's all about risk, managing risk. I would say farmers are some of the most sophisticated risk managers in the world. Problem number one is um, you got to get out there before the weeds are a foot tall and they become a res resistant to your chemical at that point. Um, and you may stun them, but a lot of times they'll come, they'll start growing again. You think you have it solved and two weeks later, here they come again. So you had to get out there. And so to get out there, what's important? Well, can't wait a lot. Problem number two, how do you get rid of most of the weeds, if not all? Yeah, well, they're, they're small and it's more of a swarm approach. Meaning, um, you know, we'll put 10 bots out there at a time is the way we're doing it. And they're going to drive between the rows. Um, they're four wheel drive, essentially. They're running off batteries. Between the rows of, let's say, soy, the fields you mentioned before. So there's a row of soy plants that's already grown to half a meter, a meter or something. And then this swarm of robots basically navigates between these rows and takes care of the weeds. Yep. We just have a reasonable, reasonable rule of thumb. If they get a certain size, we're going to get out there and we're going to start working with them. All. And that is a service. It's a fixed fee per acre, period. So we figure on soybeans, we're going to be out there two to five times per season. That is um, the way it works currently. And we don't sell the bots directly to folks right now. We also have another bot in development that helps you um, with the animal grazing and intensive um Raisin, which is a key, key part of regenerative ag that nobody talks about a lot because it's actually very difficult to uh, graze animals right now, especially uh, small ruminants. I think that if we step back for a second, most farms are around farmer as manager and also doer, or they try to hire the doers. You know, folks actually do all this stuff and maybe don't do as much. I think robotics can make the farmer a more effective manager, and it may be even more of a detailed level than their eye can capture at this point. I don't think you'll ever escape where a farmer has to go out and walk a field or eyeball their animals. How were those discussions with investors? You know, I got on the internet in 97, but um, I listened to the stories from guys who are in 92, 94. And uh, I think raising money for ag robotics specifically right now is akin to trying to raise money for e-commerce in 1994. I think a lot of people see it and they think this is probably going to be a really big deal, but it's so early, they're not really sure how to take it. 